Look at her. Uh-huh. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. Lady Red, Lady on the Beach. Look at her. And Cameron Michael. Look at everyone and welcome to Look at All, the Hey Queen After Show, where our super celebrity guest looks at some of the queens she's played with, slayed with, and frayed with. And she'll spill a little tea. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm. It's hot. <laughs> or throw a little... Cameron has my shade fan. Do it, Cameron. Shade. Yeah. <laughs> or just tell us something that we don't know. The lady with the shade fan is our guest today, the gorgeous, fantastic Cameron Michael. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and of course, we have right here Mr. Gergi Makan from He's Fit. Looking pretty fit. You're looking good. Your those are wienerific right there. We're about to get banned off YouTube just from your junk. <laughs> you can check out Gerg and all of his private areas on OnlyFans.com slash Gerg is the word. Now, before we get you out of here, Gergi, I want you to help us present a little something to Ms. Cameron Michaels. Ooh. It is your very own oh. rainbow foil Hey Queen hey, Summer Day. To get your body, audi, audi, some sun for the summertime. Yes. Avoid my farmer's tan, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's from Hunties.com, our lovely t shirt partner. Now, we have another surprise for you from Hunties.com. I'm not deserving. It What's is next? your souvenir Hey Queen Experience Mug. Shut up. How quick is that? How does it happen so fast? Yes. <laughs> the little elves that Hunties have made the mug. I'm already on it. Exactly. <laughs> the you bug. today, the gag of it all. The gag. <laughs> the gag. The gag. Shake it. <laughs> now get the hell out of here, cutie. Stop <laughs> on, little bunny. Isn't that fun? That is sick, Dave. That is <laughs> turn the party quick. Yes, and that is a souvenir for you to keep and remember your lovely A Queen Beach House experience, Thank sweetie. Thank you. Uh, all right, now, Ms. Cameron. Yes. You know how to play this game, right? I do, I think. You're going to look and you're going to spill. All right. Let us begin. Lady Rat, are you ready for this? I got my plate all ready. <laughs> Summertime desserts. A dessert platter from the BBQ. Get Thank hungry goodness. just sitting by the water. I know. It's so <laughs> difficult. <laughs> all right. Let us begin. Look at her. Vangie. Vangie. Miss. Vangie. <laughs> How many times have you heard that? <laughs> How many times have I said it? I have a habit of doing it at my shows because the kids love it. And um, so I probably said it more than she said it her damn self because I say it everywhere I go. I can't help it. Now, you revealed on the show, the main show earlier, that if you had to Kai Kai with anyone, it would be Vangie. Does she have to say her name while we do it? Yeah, do you? Maybe it's like you being like, Vangie. <laughs> Vangie <laughs> Mets! Vangie! <laughs> What's something about Vangie that, because we pretty much know three things about Vangie. Yep. We know Vangie, Vangie, and Miss Vangie. Vangie. What don't we know about Vangie? Um, I mean, if you're following her on social media, if you're watching her, the bitch is hilarious. Yeah. She's so funny and she's so entertaining. And again, it's just like intimidating to watch girls like that, like um, at shows because they're all so much, <laughs> so much funnier than I am. <laughs> and it's like, I'm quirky and stupid sometimes, but those bitches are just naturally entertaining and they're naturally funny. Um, and not, not that I'm not entertaining, but on a microphone, they're just so naturally funny. Right. And she's one of those people, she's absolutely hilarious. So if you've never been to a Vanjie show, what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, but go, because she's so awesome. Awesome. All right. Look <laughs> Calorie Kardashian Williams. She seems sweet, but is she? she you know, Calorie is really sweet. <laughs> Calorie was one of the ones that piped up in the reunion um, about me not saying hi. And oh, so I right. felt a little, I felt very attacked. <laughs> I felt very attacked. Um, but no, Calorie and I just actually saw each other in San Diego. She was working at Rich's and I was there out of drag. And um, I found out she was there, so I went and said hello. And she actually apologized. And she's like, I'm sorry I did that for you. I was like, girl, you don't owe me an apology. I was like, um, 
It, it's cool. Like, we, we, I was like, we, I could absolutely be friends. That was her thing. She's like, I'm not mad at you. I just want to be friends with you. And she goes, I just like you and I want to be friends with you, Karen. Please say hi to me. Um, so I said, <laughs> I went out and said hi to her. We had a shot together and uh, we kikied. So it just sucks that we don't get to see each other enough on the road because we're all touring so much. Yeah. And yeah. if you're not on a tour with each other, we don't get to see each other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's keep it moving because we're doing every season 10 queen on this. Look on. Look on. You uh, are Hamasaki. You are Hamasaki. You know, she's really entertaining. Um, and I mean, when I walked in the workroom, she's like, that's a man, Maury. Um, so <laughs> Yuhua is really funny. Um, but the one memory I have of Yuhua is her sleeping on the couch. <laughs> oh, really? I remember coming in during filming, and anytime Yuhua could, that bitch was taking a nap. So if the cameras weren't up, she was on the couch next to my, because um, my area to get dressed in the workroom was right next to the couch where they filmed the first of every episode. Um, and she was over there sleeping <laughs> if we weren't filming. <laughs> she was like, get it, bitch. I wish I could sleep as much as that. All right, yeah. then. That's something we do not know. I yeah, like it. Yeah, she got her naps in. <laughs> Look off. Dusty Ray. Now, oh, that's a great picture of Dusty Ray. Mm -hmm. um, so you guys had a little lunch. We did. Yeah. Post show. Yeah, we did. To Now, what was the... What was the, the the twist? What was going on with you guys during the show? You know, nothing was going on with any of the girls during the show. You know, I was so much more outgoing when the cameras were off. Um, so the van to the hotel or, you know, whatever was going on, I was, I was engaging with them. I may have not been the loudest one in the room, as usual. But, but who can be? Who can be with all those bitches? <laughs> with Eureka, the Vixen, and all the rest. Oh, and Monique. Uh, but uh, no, so I, I talked to Dusty on set. I didn't really get to talk to her a lot outside the show, um, which clearly we got wind of that I wasn't talking about outside the show. Right. Um, but um, we were fine on set. We totally had conversations about, you know, the struggles that we had. We both had some very upsetting moments on the show, even in the beginning, um, before she left. Um, we had some struggles that we all talked through together. Yeah. Yeah, what was that lunch like? The lunch that we had, um, the finale, at, when the finale was airing, Dusty and I went to lunch, and it was great to get to sit down with her with, you know, no cameras around, no other girls around, and just get to sit, sit and talk to Dusty and get to know her, because I didn't get a chance to do that, because I think she was she was fifth home, went home fifth. Right. Um, so I didn't really get a chance to know Dusty as well as some of the, you know, like my final four sisters. Um, so it was fun to sit down with Dusty and just get to talk to her as a person. That's good. Yeah. And you both have been now been on this show and said everything's cool, so yes. everyone, everything's cool. Everything's fine. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right. Look off. Oh, Mayhem Miller. Why did you write that mean note, Cameron? I, you know what? <laughs> I just knew how to get under Miss Mayhem Miller's skin. So I wrote the note. No, <laughs> you were I did like, not write the note. Boo, bitch. Boo, bitch. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> did you get the feeling that she was checked out? right before she went home? Because it seemed like the way they made it look on TV yeah. was that she was going through it yeah. and not really present. What did you notice? She was definitely going through it. I remember, I don't know if she talked about this. Um, I didn't get to watch her full interview with you guys, but I know that in several of her confessionals, when she walked out from confessionals from filming, she was crying. And it's just, well, she cried during uh, the first episode when right. she won, um, just because it was so emotional for her because she'd been trying for so many years um, to get casted on the show. It was a very emotional experience for her, and I think she struggled with that a lot. Um, do I think it, like, made a difference in her performance on the show? No, I think she served it. You can see, like, the lip sync. She, she was Miss Mayhem, ripping feathers off. Like, that's Mayhem. She's yeah. crazy, and she's a performer. Um, but I do think, like, she struggled a little bit with, like, just the stress of being there because she'd been trying for so long. Yeah, yeah. that's intense. Yeah, it is When intense. you get there, you're like, it's literally like, don't fuck it up. It is. Don't fuck it up. And I think we all got that feeling once we got there. It's like, shit, here we are. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Look at all. Number one on the Billboard charts just recently. Number one on the dance charts right Blair now. Saint Blair St. Clair. Clair. Wow. You know, I make the excuse that I don't like my music right now, but that bitch is like the second reason that I'm not releasing my music because I'm like, she's killing it right now. Yeah. She is killing it. And um, like, 
I don't even know if I can compare to her right now. Like she is literally killing the dance chart. Her videos are, I think Brad Hammer is doing her um, doing her videos and they're absolutely stunning mm -hmm. um, visuals to go along with her um, her great tracks that she's had done. I don't know who's doing her music, but yeah, she's killing it. She's doing such a good job. Now, when you guys de-dragged, yep. did you say, who's that 12 year old boy in, in this lady's dressing room? Somebody check that child's ID because there is an age <laughs> limit to this show. I don't think she meets it. <laughs> um, are you, you know, you're a little older than some of the girls on yes, the show. Yes, I am, surprisingly. Do you, do you, are you glad that this happened to you at your age now? Yes. Do you, because it seems like it must be, it's very intense, even though the winner was 21. Hello, but yeah. I don't think I could have handled this all at that age, and so I commend them for doing such great jobs, being as young as they are. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right. Yo. Look at her. Stunning, America. One of my personal favorites, Miss Monique Hart. Stunning. <laughs> um, now, Monique came for you a little bit at the reunion, she sweetie. She sure did, girl. She did. Uh, so, um... That was, it was such a, you know, we can laugh about it now because it's so funny, but I remember when um, they're like, do you have anything you want to bring up? And Monique was like, Miss Cameron. And I was like, oh God, here we go. What's she going to say? Uh -huh. And um, yeah, she really went for it. And um, <laughs> I remember like when I made my face and um, the reason I made my like infamous face in it that is now a meme <laughs> um, <laughs> was like, uh, is because, it's because it was Monique, Dusty, and Monet, and then, you know, Calorie had something to say too. So it was like all four girls were, you know, kind of, you know, having something to say about me. And I was like, I just rolled my eyes because I was like, it felt like in that moment, I was like, God, why is everybody coming for me right now? Because I didn't expect it to happen. <laughs> right. And then I made my face, and then RuPaul goes, did you make a face? Was that, did you make a face? And I was like, oh no, what face? I don't know what you're talking about. Cause I like acted like I didn't just make the face that the camera just caught. Like I didn't know there was eight cameras in the room that just caught me make the face. Um, but it was funny, you know, it, it, I actually appreciate that Monique called me out on that because as introverts, we don't really know that we're doing that. We don't know mm -hmm. that we're not, you know, greeting people when we walk into a room. Because like I said, when I walk into a room, I want to acclimate to my environment and I don't like I'm automatically go and introduce myself to everyone in the room because I'm, I'm, I'm more quiet and I'm more reserved. And so it's helped me actually, I, I make fun of it at my shows, but it's actually helped me, you know, be a little more personable and realize that, you know, that's a fault of mine that I, extroverts easily do that and it's a struggle for me, so I'm trying to get better about that. Look at her! For part two of Look at her, click here. For more incredible episodes of Look at her, click down here. And don't forget to subscribe! subscribe. <laughs>